My name is William Gladstone. I'm a Harvard University trained medical anthropologist and an author. As a young man, I had the privilege of serving as the researcher for Rod Serling's television documentary, In Search of Ancient Mysteries. I traveled the globe searching for ancient mysteries, finding answers. In my entire life, I have never explored a mystery more enigmatic, more puzzling, and more profound than the soul healing miracles of Dr. and Master Shah. Now, for the first time ever on television, you will see actual soul healing miracles performed before your very eyes. Be prepared to be amazed and be prepared to discover the dimension of your own soul. Dr. and Master Shah was trained in China as a medical doctor. He was also from the age of six a student of Tai Chi, Qi Gong, acupuncture, and many other traditional Chinese energy practices. Dr. and Master Shah has received accolades for his humanitarian services, including the Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative Commission Award. He has written 10 New York Times best-selling books, including four that were number one. Dr. and Master Shah's mission is to teach you to do soul healing miracles so that you can live a healthier and happier life. Dr. and Master Shah's ultimate dream is to raise the consciousness of all seven billion people on planet Earth to ensure a healthy and happy planet for generations to come. This program is likely to change your life. You will be taught specific exercises which may immediately benefit you. Watch and listen. Welcome, Soul Healing Miracles with Dr. and Master Shah. My name is William Gladstone. I'm a medical anthropologist and an author, and I have the privilege to host this amazing series. Today's topic is sports injuries. Whether you're a weekend warrior and you've injured yourself, or you're a professional athlete, you're going to learn something today that is quite remarkable. And our co-host today is the noted sports agent, Lee Steinberg. Lee, for those of you who don't know, is considered the top sports agent in the history of sports agenting. He was the inspiration for the film Jerry Maguire. And if there's anyone who understands the importance of rapidly healing a sports injury, it's Lee. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Bill. Dr. Shah is a 10-time New York Times best-selling author, four times number one. Today, he travels throughout the world treating all nature of ailments. So proud to be able to introduce Dr. and Master Shah. Thank you, Bill. Now, I am offering a soul healing service worldwide. And uh, I have done many services for sports injury. About one month ago, I had opportunities to help a few sports stars. Today, let us hear from them after my soul healing, what happened to their injuries. Afterward, I will offer healing to all the viewers. Let me serve you my soul healing for everyone. Thank you for the opportunity. Hi, I'm Lee Steinberg, and for the last 40 years, I've represented professional athletes who understand their power as role models and go back and retrace their roots to their high school, collegiate, and professional communities in a way that, that enhances the quality of life. Today, we're talking about athletic injuries. And ultimately, a sport like football breaks down every joint in the human body. And athletes live with a level of pain that is indescribable for everyday people. And first of all, I have the privilege of talking to Cree Morris. Cree is a trainer for Fitness Quest and trains athletes of all ages, mostly in football, to go ahead and be successes. So Cree, uh, Talk to us about your own experience in college football. You were at San Diego State and St. Mary's, correct? Yes, sir. So did you have injuries yourself? Yeah, when I transferred from uh, San Diego State and went up to St. Mary's College, actually our first game, 
I end up with a brachial plexus injury, where a brachial plexus injury is basically you stretch all the nerves in your neck, and my whole right side went numb. So when we were younger playing, you used to call that stingers. You just let, like, basically your arm would go numb. But this actually numbed my whole right side. And so I ended up in a neck brace, being taken to the hospital, uh, CT scans, MRIs, all those things. Couldn't pick up a football in my hand. Um, and then end up with a neck injury because of it, uh, where C4 up in my neck pops out quite a bit. And uh, especially if I sleep wrong or, or have, a, have an issue there. So how has that injury affected your life? Um, it's just limited mobility. I mean, there's days that I uh, literally can't move my neck. I mean, to move my neck, you got to turn your whole shoulders and everything together. And uh, fortunate enough to have to go through a, a healing with Master Shaw here, who was able to give me a flexibility like I haven't known. So before you met Master Shaw, did you try other modalities to try and heal? I had gone to you know chiropractors, masseuses, um, tried different things. I mean, literally from pain pills to to alcohol, to whatever you could to, to numb it, to make it feel a little bit better in the moment. Um, but it just, again, never have been able to experience this looseness again as I have with, uh, through Master Shaw. And were you feeling pain every day? Uh, most days. There were some pain-free days, um, but it's tough. I, you know, I don't sleep much. I don't, wouldn't sleep very well, I should say, um, because of it. And uh, just, just numbings, um, tinglings. Again, you know, in football, we got a lot of guys call them stingers. Well, I had, you know, quite a few concussions, um, but on top of that, just my neck, um, nerves being pinched because C4 would literally pop out and then it just pinches everything down your right side and pretty uncomfortable. So describe for our viewers what happened when you interacted with Master Shaw. Uh, I was called actually by a friend of mine who doesn't call very often. If he does call, usually it's pretty important. And so, uh, he uh, invited me to come up and, and just to experience a soul healing. And that's really all the information he gave me. Um, and it was a blessing that he did and that I got a chance to accept. So I came up and spent uh, an afternoon with Master Shaw uh, in, you know, in Orange County, Newport Beach, and got to go through, I believe I was the last one. There was five of us that day that went through. Um, and I got to go through a healing with him. Hi, my name is Cree Morris. Um, this is the morning after. Uh, seeing Dr. Shaw yesterday and, and going through a, an amazing healing process. Ty submission. After the, the healing, as I, I stood up to stretch, and I've been very locked up um, for years after playing football and being hit so many times, and, and I tried to stretch out, and my, both my elbows and my shoulders popped. Different. Wow. I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Were you that, filming that? Did you hear that pop? And my shoulders went so far past where I've ever been able to get them stretched bef uh, in a very long time, probably since I played the game. Okay, so basically my elbows just popped, both my shoulders just popped. I've had uh, this one sep you know, dislocated, this one separated, this one separated, this one dislocated. So I was just stretching to see. I haven't been able to lift my arms up very high behind my back. I'm a football player. I was a quarterback for uh, 15 years. And now I train quarterbacks now for a living and uh, am blessed to do so. So I've just been stiff. I do can throw still and everything, but not, I haven't been able to move and had that extension in my shoulders where I could actually rotate. Um, didn't even know she was filming. I was actually just walking around stretching. <laughs> so it's, uh, wow, I can hold my shoulders back again. It's a different feeling. Yeah. Normally that stops right about, Right about there, and it won't go up. For 12 years, I haven't been able to move and, and have this looseness and this feeling where I could actually adjust myself. Um, normally, I have to try and go somewhere and get a chiropractor or a friend or someone to walk on my back, literally to, to break up some of the knots, or, and it's... We also have a great guest today who's Vincey Glenn. Vincey was a second round draft pick in 1986 by New England, traded quickly to the San Diego Chargers where he was a standout star as a free safety for the next 10 years. Vincey, great to have you. Thank you. 
try to tell the viewers a little bit about the type of injuries you suffer when you play free safety in the National Football League. They give you A, B, C, and D, and always marked E, all of the above. So you have all kind of injuries, and it's just part of the game. As an athlete, you're going to have injuries, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, field hockey. But football is more of a collision injuries where your injuries probably manifest and magnify as you get older. And that's when we normally really see how bad our injuries are the older we get. What parts of the body get affected? My head bone, my foot <laughs> bone, my knee bone, my ankles, everything. You know, it's, it's a constant hurt, so you get used to it. As Cree said, you get adapted to the pain and you learn to deal with it. But you can go sit there and say, at some point in time throughout the month, something's going to bother you. And seeing Master Shaw has eliminated a lot of that throughout the month. And, and, and that, was, that was the amazing thing. But seeing is believing and actually seeing it. So what did you use to try to heal yourself or cure yourself during your football oh, career? I, I've done it all. Chiropractor, you know, yoga, Pilates, you know, and I have spinal stenosis, which is a neck injury plus a shoulder and leg injuries as well. But, you know, I've tried everything to ease the pain, as he said, but, you know, I didn't use alcohol to do it. I just tried to deal with it. I got a high tolerance. But there are other things that, you know, I've tried and they just didn't work. The pain would always eventually come back. So it's, it's not the remedy. You know, it's just the source of the, what's bothering me. What, what does a spinal stenosis do to the body? Ooh, you don't want that. It's a narrowing of the spinal canal. Your spinal canal is about yay big. And spinal stenosis decreases that significantly. So anytime you have collisions or sudden movements in your upper extremities or your neck, it pinches your spinal canal, which causes temporary paralysis. They call it sting of burners, but it's almost temporary paralysis because you know, you can feel it, but you still can't move your extremities like you want to. So you met Master Shaw. How did that happen? Well, through the gr uh, goodness of Dave Melson and Sports One Mark and giving me the opportunity just to work, work there, it just trans transpired into being able to meet Master Shaw and Master Cynthia and the whole crew and being able to just share it with my friends. And I didn't had no expectations, and that's one of the great things about it is you hear about a lot of things, you know, over the internet marketing in different ways, but to actually sit there and experience it and and come out of it and say, hey, I don't know about you, but it works for me was even a, a, a bigger blessing I ever imagined. So what happened when you got your blessing? <laughs> well, <laughs> we spent, <laughs> my blessing wasn't just for injuries. I needed a lot of help. <laughs> so I got my soul blessings. Yes. Oh, hurt, can't, can't yeah. run, can't you stretch can't run. all the way out. I'm torn. It's torn. You, you what, because injury, torn yeah. before? No, I just did it two years ago. What, it be injury? Yes. Okay, got it. Close eyes. Here, I get this way. Sure, we do that. So the light is coming in through Master Shaw's hands open. to open up the hamstring through the skin, the bones, the muscles. All the way down to the DNA, RNA. And now continue and explaining for a second. Uh, but since uh, I will ask God and I was to uh, ask a source, uh, give new muscle, every new muscle, cell, soul, muscle, this, this big muscles, whatever, uh, uh, remove so many body block, you give uh, whatever trash you need. Transmission! So as Master Shaw was shaking his hand as he was speaking, actually the darkness was coming out from that area, the blockages. And then he actually, I saw these and give beautiful new uh, souls. No, yeah. give a seat. Transmission, how the seat works. Yeah. You see so, the seat? So the, what, what, what happened is then the new uh, muscle came in, the cells, the, 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 it, it was absolutely beautiful, all the way down to the, the DNA, RNA, and the spaces, the matter, the energy. Then what took place was there was the seed within your hamstring actually had a message. That message was removed, the negative message, the negative seed from this injury. Oh! This How? Walk. Try your leg, you know, leave your leg, leave your leg.
Different? No different. That's it. <laughs> Tell me. What I'm doing is instant healing. Mm -hmm. The change your muscle. No muscle was, go. You know, I put yeah, the seed I, I 1,000 times grow. Mm -hmm. So mean the new muscle will grow there. It's a two and a half year process that has instantly started to feel better in two minutes. So he's magnified the healing process tremendously, and it starts from the soul within, not without. Soul healing, not medical healing, soul healing. He, uh, I was, when he was talking about it, I was feeling it, and then when I got up and walked around, the texture of my hamstring, as far as the knot, was a little smaller than it was previously. Now, I don't believe in the, the gimmicks and the gurus, but I do believe in seeing. <laughs> seeing is believing. I've seen it. I felt it. But I was a believer. I always say you have to be a believer before you can see it. And, you know, I explained some of the injuries I had, the spinal stenosis, my hamstring, which is what was really bothering me at the time, was my hamstring that I had torn literally off the bone two years ago. And I go to the chiropractor and I go to a therapist weekly, and they know the extent of my injury from the past two years. And I saw Master Shaw, and immediately, you know, I had a lot more flexibility in my leg and extension. And then the past few weeks, I've been seeing my therapist, and he just can't believe you know, the, the difference in my flexibility. Can you show us the range of motion difference? Yeah, let's say before if I sat down and they say, put your leg out, I could probably go to here. Mm -hmm. But now I can, you know, I got, before old man, that ain't bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to see Mr. Shaw. <laughs> so, for that. You know, it, it has helped me, but it, it was bigger than the, just the, the hamstring. Just me personally, my body, my mind, the way I perceive life and just go through life. It just changed me, you know, and, it's, and to me, it's, if you heal the, the spirit and the soul, I think the body just comes along with it, and it's, it's the part of the process. So you felt differently in the last oh, month? Oh, still have. Still do. Need some more transmission fluid. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so thank much. You. Master Shaw, those were some remarkable stories. How did you heal them? Thank you. In my teaching, a human being has three body. Metal body, you can see the joints, uh, the back pain, the knee, the neck. The second is the energy body. The third is the soul body. Our beloved modern medicine focus on metal body. Traditional Chinese medicine and the thousand healing modalities focus on energy body. So I focus on soul body. My techniques is to self-heal soul body blockages, energy body blockages, and the matter body blockages. The soul body blockages is root cause. What is soul body blockages? I have written many books Soul blockages are negative karma. Our beloved viewers, many of you believe negative karma, many of you may not believe. That's okay. I do not have the intention to change your belief system. But in the last 10 years, there are hundreds, thousands of soul healing miracles happen in my service because I focus to remove soul mind body blockages. The key is the soul blockages. I also share with the humanity, you can serve, clear your soul blockages, energy blockages, mental blockages. So that is the key answer for uh, this question. The, maybe I do a healing demo and give them a one more time a boost healing to share with the humanity how did I do soul blockage removal. We'd love to see it.
Last time I did a sew operation, I will do one more time. Uh, close your eyes. Uh, this is a sew operation. Light will open inside. My flexibility and range of motion was very limited before I saw Master Shaw. And immediately after being able to see him, I went from a range of motion to this to where, you know, even in jeans that now I can, you know, got full range of motion and flexibility. And as far as my issues with spinal stenosis and joints hurting and feeling tingling and numbness as I slept at night, I haven't had any problems in a month as far as being able to sleep through the night. and. Just my whole well-being and body is feeling better since seeing Master Shaw and not only my hamstring, but just me as a person. I feel like I've become a better person and the things in my life are starting to be better as well. So, you know, I think it's a one-stop shop and I'm very happy. Thank you, Master Shaw. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great, let me do one more healing for you. Okay, close your eyes. Uh, I connect uh, to remove the soul blockages. Transmission! The light open inside. If, you, uh, some, if some people have a third eye, you will see light uh, open. Uh, open middle part. Uh, So, Master Shaw, um, now that you see a little bit more flexibility in my shoulders and my elbows, um, I believe I saw you about a month ago, correct? Yeah. I mean, I've slept a lot better. I don't have that same pain anymore. Mm. It doesn't hurt to lay on one of my sides, whether it be my left or my right shoulder. Uh, the feeling has actually been tremendous and, and just been, um, you know, again, blessed to be a part of this and, and get to spend some time with you, Master Shaw. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. I'm very glad for Thank you, you very Thanks. much, sir. Thank you. Miracles are normal. We have seen the evidence. We have heard the testimonials. Now, all of the viewers are about to receive a spiritual blessing from Dr. and Master Shah. Sit up straight on a chair with your back free and clear. Place your hands on the area you wish to receive healing. Say hello and thank you to the inner soul of that body part and put your mind on the area you wish to receive healing. Now chant and follow Dr. and Master Shah's instructions. What I'm going to do, I'm going to offer two soul healing service. The first is a soul operation for everybody. The second is I do a dramatic healing. I will ha, ha, ha for nine time. Uh, you watch that. Uh, ha, everybody silent. Dear Master Shah, dear the spiritual world. Uh, if you believe God, believe Jesus, holy people, Buddha, healing angels, Lama, Guru, Jesus, uh, uh, Kuhunas, you believe anybody or do not believe anybody. Believe the sun, the moon, the star. Uh, this is spiritual healing. Uh, you say, dear Master Shah, dear all a spiritual world, uh, please heal my shoulder. Please heal my hypertension. Uh, choose one area. Soul operation start. How you're very blessed. Second one, uh, you relax. 
I will do nine times hard from head to toe. Ha! 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 How you are more blessed. I'm your servant. I wish you can receive good result. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You wounded warriors out there, there is another way. You don't just have to take pills. Experiment, love, gratitude, forgiveness. These soul healing miracles really work. Thank you again, Dr. Shah. Thank you so much, Lee. Yeah, well. And I wanna thank our athletes for showing up and demonstrating the real power of soul healing miracles. Support our local PBS station. Call 888-998-KLCS to make a contribution. Or go to klcs.org slash support to become a member. Make your tax-deductible contribution right now. Join KLCS. Live, learn, love, L.A. I travel and explore the world's cultures through dance and music. A zest for life oh my God. and a love for great rhythms move me to explore the world one beat at a time. So join me as I find my rhythm abroad. Next on KLCS. Tonight on KLCS. Tedeschi Trucks Band, America, Sadie and the Hotheads, Toad the Wet Sprocket, Robin Ford, and more. Music, pure and simple. Monday at 7 on KLCS. Hi, I'm an old Paul Stuckey. Please join me right here on Rock and Roll Stories, KLCS. I'm going to talk about my history. Even though I'm a folky, I do rock and roll every once in a while. Monday at 8 on KLCS. Eventually I got to a point where something changed inside us, sort of my compass flipped and I started looking at things very differently. Then the words that would come out matched more where I felt I was going rather than where I had been. I never Monday at 9 on KLCS. KLCS, PBS for Los Angeles. TV Sports for Good. KLCS. KLCS. TV Sports for Good. TV Sports for Good. This is my PBS. It's me PBS. Whose PBS is it? This is our PBS. But I'll share. Live, learn, love, LA. LA. Live, learn, love, LA. 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 Support KLCS. Join at KLCS.org. I've traveled to a place where traditional culture and modern life come together in celebration, where visitors are invited to join in the passion and energy which is the lifeblood that flows throughout this charismatic city.
word for the magical energy that is mostly reserved for flamenco dancers. The word is duende. And this is Sevilla. Feel the music, feel the rhythm. I'm Brittany Pierce. I travel and explore the world's cultures through dance and music. A zest for life. Oh gosh! And a love for great rhythms move me to explore the world one beat at a time. So join me as I find my rhythm abroad. Rhythm Abroad is made possible by Bagalini Handbags and Travel Accessories. Founded by two flight attendants, Bagalini provides women with organization while traveling. Available in specialty stores throughout the U.S. and Canada. Wherever your travels take you, Bagalini. Order is beautiful. I'm in Sevilla, Spain, folks, the capital of the Andalusia region, and there is so much to see. Cruising the Guadalquivir River is one way, but to see the city center, Where do you hide yourself all the time? Mr. White.